Yeah, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Lost Abbey. This is Deliverance, one of the biggest beers that they make. And this is a blend of two different beers, about 60% brandy barrel aged Angel Share and then 40% bourbon barrel aged sorry serpent stout so a blend of barley wine and stout both a barrel aged this is a big big beer coming in at 12 percent so really excited for this one uh this is a yearly release from them so let's dig into this beer uh it's been a while since i've had it i believe uh actually yeah have, i do have it at uh, 50 to 55 degrees pretty much did not throw it in the fridge it, it is winter so it is pretty chill in here so Sticking the beer. Uh, the beer comes in pretty much black color. Uh, Tommy Arthur calls it sort of a brownish black color uh, because it is a blend of a really deep brown beer and a black beer, but in the glass sort of looks pretty much black. And then there may be a little bit of, eh, not really, can't really see anything in the edges. Uh, medium brown head on there. Let's get the aroma on this one. Oh, wow. Big amounts of dark fruit for me. Um, good amount of barrel character. You get that kind of brandy sweetness, that kind of vanilla-y uh, whiskey note. But yeah, just jam-packed with tons of sweet fruit. If anything, it reminds me of Bourbon County with how much sweetness is underlying there. You get this um, uh, cherry cordial, some raisins, a little bit of like just like sweet uh, melted chocolate, but just intensely syrupy, uh, very sweet. You get that rounded barrel character. Again, this very much reminds me of Bourbon County with the rich barrel character and just the lo lingering, longing, sweet notes and, and intense amounts of um, uh, bourbon-soaked raisins, prunes, plums, cherry notes. Fantastic. Cheers. Wow. Puts up a decent fight. Uh, I would say Bourbon County is a relatively rare beer. There are a lot of bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts out there, but there are a few that reach the amount of intensity and sweetness that that beer gets to. This one very much um, tries to reach in that range. Lots of barrel character, but also not in the sense of a um, sweet barrel character or, um, sorry, a heated barrel character. Instead, it's well integrated. The Venice brandy character tends to come up a little bit, offering a little bit of alcohol. The charred oak plays around in there. In general, this beer is also, again, just like the aroma, dark fruited, reasonably sweet. Get some good amount of brown sugar dancing in there, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of that roast quality on the finish, the serpent stout showing, but it still has, in general, a bold, deep barley wine character to it. Instead of leaning too much towards full-on roast, it has, it is mostly a barley wine, and it actually, if anything, drinks higher than 60% uh, barley wine. It has mostly this kind of just like chewy breadiness and toast and just like caramelly stickiness that dries throughout the palate instead of really intense kind of roast coffee chocolate flavors. I mean, I don't know the vintage of this, but my friend got it for me and I'm imagining it's relatively new. Very surprising for a beer that they recommend aging that there is no bottle date on this one. Um, obviously that'd be quite useful and there clearly is no bottle date on this one. Yeah, uh, sorry about that, huh? Pretty interesting. Um, I imagine this is relatively new vintage and it actually tastes like it has a good amount of age on it. it, it at 12%, it really does not exude too much heat. There is a warming and um, alcohol kind of driving down, but it really does not it taste like 12%. And again, the more I drink about I drink this, while it is still mostly barrel aged barley wine, there is some of that sour character. The flavors just in general uh, throw me in the world of uh, Bourbon County, Bourbon, uh, uh, Bourbon County barley wine as well. And there are a few beers I'd really call out to say have, have those kind of tasting notes. And if anything, this sort of could possibly remind you of a blend of Bourbon County Barley Wine, Bur uh, Bourbon County Stout, which is a fantastic blend. You have those beers, bring some friends over, crack those two open and blend them and play around with ratios because that's a really fun game. Uh, reminds me of that, and this is simply in a bottle. If you have access to this, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you're a Bourbon County fan, try to get some of this. If you're a fan of both Bourbon County and this, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic as for rating. It's actually amazing to revisit this beer because this is so good. The only thing I will say that it is reasonably nimble and dry. 
for uh, such a big beer. It actually does not have that cooling sweetness that Bourbon County has. Um, that could be to advantage for some people. It actually drinks a little lighter than 12% compared to Bourbon County. Um, in some sense, because it does have that kind of oak drying, whereas Bourbon County just tells you that it's 14, 15% because it lingers with alcohol and that mouth coating sticky sweetness. Uh, this one sort of pushes back on that. So if anything, this is more attractive uh, to some people which find Bourbon County too sweet. So this is absolutely fantastic. I keep going on about it uh, and I keep comparing it to Bourbon County because that is one of my favorite beers of all time. So uh, let's go with the 99 on this one. This is absolutely fantastic. One of the best barrel aged beers I've had this year. Uh, unbelievable. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later.